Nicholas Toth tunes his instrument while waiting for band practice to begin. Trained in drums and piano, taking up a bluesy instrument is something he didn't plan. But for Nick, the decision to play the saxophone is irreversible. I wouldn't switch. Uh, I'm quite pleased with saxophone. Probably one of the most opportunities for playing in different groups is with a saxophone, especially in alto, jazz bands, wind ensembles, regular bands. Nick is in high school at London Central Secondary School. Though music is not a required course, it's an opportunity he couldn't pass up. Uh, you sort of don't have time to start learning when you're older. Uh, it's in school. There's a course for it. You have to take courses anyways. So just, I don't know why people wouldn't want to take the free education to learn music when it's already in place for them. He chose to not let it slip by. Nick jumped headfirst into that opportunity, joining multiple bands at the school. Nick became a band geek practicing more than four hours each week. However, at this school, being part of the band is not a stereotype. It's a walk of life. At Central, music is a big thing. 50% of the kids are in music, so it's not sort of obscure to be in the music department. Most of your friends are probably in it too. It's, I don't know, it's not expected, but um, it's sort of normal. There's nothing out of the ordinary to be a part of music. Nick says that he hasn't encountered much stigma. In his experience, people are more impressed with his involvements than anything. There's just an extra sort of respect that comes with being part of groups instead of going home and doing nothing. I mean, you could be in sports or whatever, but as soon as you start labeling all these music things, they go, okay, this kid doesn't just play music, he's a musician. Not only is Nick free from ridicule, he's praised for his involvement in music, something he has the school's jazz band largely to thank. At Central, being part of the jazz band is kind of like being in a rock band. <laughs> There's a whole different mentality than you sort of see at other schools, I guess. Especially if you have solos, because everyone sees you at the school concerts and stuff. Uh, you sort of become an in-school celebrity almost. They will literally come up for the next two weeks and say, that solo was amazing, Like I wish I could hear it again. Fellow bandmate Michael Why Not, the jazz band brings an entirely new feel to school. When we perform, it's a lot different than like the concert band and like the song. Like you notice something different, like there's edge, there's like there's life, like there's swing in it. And like people really like that, you know? It's like really upbeat. Uh, we get to do some solos, some nice stuff, people are attracted to it, so they think it's great. But it isn't just about the presentation, it's also about the environment. For Michael, being in the jazz band isn't that different from jamming out in a garage. Well, like some cool things about the rock band is like you can like express like your own style of music and like you're in a small ensemble with your friends. But like that's really like what's part of the jazz band too. It's like a small ensemble with people you know. And then like you get to play some like awesome music. Each week the group of 24 students come together for a practice. The two hour rehearsal requires a lot of focus, taking a lot out of the students. It's grueling work. But for many of these students, it's what gets them through school. Uh, after being in it for a while, you realize that it is, uh, it's really, a, I guess you could label it a blessing almost, or it's just something fun. It's an activity instead of something you sort of have to go to. It's a sentiment that conductor Linda Warden has become familiar with hearing. You know, I have kids telling me, eh, it kept me in school. I just, I wasn't going to let you down, Ms. Warden, you know. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Linda has been the conductor of Central's jazz band for roughly 20 years. She explains why bands remain popular in schools today, and why students are going the extra mile to join even more. A band particularly is a social phenomenon. Band usually starts in grade 7. You're there with your buddies. <laughs> and it, it does, be, it has this social aspect to it, where, you know, you're, you're part of the group, and if, and if you can catch them in grade 9 and 10, where they still feel like that, and then they have successes, then they play great repertoire, then they travel. They're hooked. They want to be a part of the artistic scene. But to Linda, the involvement serves a greater social purpose. 